Before using the issues add-in, make sure in your published settings in the Revit environment, you have the right 3D views published under a coordination set. Next step is to install the Revit issues add-in. In your Autodesk account under all products and services, type in Revit, select the version, view details, extensions, and download the issues add-in. Similarly, in Navisworks, you need to first install the coordination issues add-in. You can do this by typing in coordination issues add-in in Google, and navigate to the site in the Autodesk App Store to download it. In ACC, under Model Coordination Settings, make sure you have created a coordination space. Remember the model views created in Revit? These will be the ones reflected on the models in the Model Coordination module. It is recommended to review the settings of the Issues tool within the ACC. Here you can activate or deactivate statuses Create templates to use when creating issues in batch within Navisworks. Create root causes. Review permissions. If you want to know more about permissions, click on Learn More to know more about each of the permission levels. You can also create different type of custom fields that you can then use in your issue types. Additionally, on the ACC, under the Insight module, you can create custom dashboards to keep track of the issues in your project. If necessary, there are also Power BI templates available for you to download and customize. If I'm a BIM coordinator working in Navisworks and I have my coordination issues add-in installed, I'll click on Open, navigate to the project, and select the models I want to use for coordination. Once the model is open, I will follow my usual Navisworks workflow, create clash tests and run them. To create issues, click on Manage Issues, right-click on the Clash or Clash group and select Create Issue. Review the template assigned and additional parameters you want to add to the issue. To group clashes, you can use the Create Groups button, select the group by parameter you want to use, add a label if necessary, and click Group Clashes. The add-in will group them and name them. You can then batch create issues by selecting the groups, right-click actions, create issues. You should also save your work as an NWF file in a project folder. If you are a Revit modeler in your Revit environment, navigate to the issues tab 
Here you can use the overview button to see how many open issues there are. Click on manage issues to start resolving the issues. Select an issue. This will open a 3D view. You can box out the element and start working on eliminating the clash. Once the clash is resolved, it is the modeler's responsibility to change the status to the status defined in your workflow. In this case, I change it to completed since the BIM coordinator will review it and close it out. Make sure to save and sync the model and publish the changes to the cloud. Back in Navisworks, the BIM coordinator will open the NWF file to review the changes. He will review the issues and notice the status has changed. He will update the clash tests and verify that the resolved clashes match the issue status. Once satisfied, he will change the status to closed. Meanwhile on the ACC, a team member can also review the activity log of the issues and double check it has been resolved. Issues reports can also be printed from the ACC using the available templates. These can be modified as desired. You can run the report and save it as a PDF to then distribute it to your team.